Welcome mathematicians to another episode with Mr. Murphy. And today, we're going to learn how to count like groups of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters using our knowledge of skip counting. Before I show you how to do that, let's do a quick reminder about coin values. Our penny is worth one cent. We can also represent that with one base 10 block. Remember, cent is something that we use when we are talking about coins. A nickel is worth five cents or five base 10 blocks. A dime is worth 10 cents or 10 base 10 blocks. And finally, a quarter is worth 25 cents or 25 base 10 blocks. So how do we count like groupings of coins? Let's start with pennies. I know a penny is worth one cent. So that means in order to count pennies, I'm gonna have to count by ones. I have one penny, so one cent, then two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents, six cents, and seven cents. I had seven pennies all together, which were worth a total of seven cents. I counted by ones in order to get that. Let's take a look at nickels. Nickels are each worth five cents each. So I know I need to count by fives if I'm counting a group of nickels. One nickel is five cents. Two nickels are 10 cents then 15, then 20, then 25 cents. I had five nickels, which are worth a total of 25 cents. I counted by fives in order to figure that out. Let's now look at dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents a piece. So I'm gonna count by tens in order to count a group of dimes. 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, and 60 cents. I have six dimes at 10 cents a piece for a total of 60 cents. I counted by tens in order to do that. Let's take a look at our last one, quarters. Quarters are worth 25 cents a piece. Now I find it a little bit tricky to count by 25s. That's something I'm not used to have to do, but one important thing to remember when counting quarters, four of them equals one whole dollar or 100 cents. Let's give it a try even though it's tough. One quarter is 25 cents, two quarters are 50 cents, three quarters would be 75 cents, and four quarters would equal 100 cents. Four quarters are equal to 100 cents or one whole dollar. Okay, mathematicians, today we learned how to count like groups of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters using our skip counting methods. Now I want you guys to go out there and try it. Good luck. I know you can do it. 